I'm Carl Jera. I am the uh, exhibits uh, fabrication specialist here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. And uh, we are here in my little shop uh, where I get to uh, articulate Australopithecines. Uh, right now, uh, I am working on a reproduction of Lucy. Um, this is uh, a brand new reconstruction we're doing and it's based on a lot of the new scientific knowledge that we've gained uh, through fossil evidence. Uh, this is probably the most advanced reconstruction that uh, <laughs> exists in the world, we hope. Some of the improvements that we've made with this one, uh, we have a brand new uh, rib cage um, that is based uh, specifically on some of the new, uh, our, uh, new evidence that uh, Johannes has discovered. Um, this rib cage uh, was produced here at the museum, uh, cast here at the museum, and reassembled. And this one's very special because the 31 uh, rib fragments from the original cast have been included into this rib cage. In the reconstruction, uh, there's two things to notice. One, uh, there's a lot of smooth uh, sculpted material, and then there's a lot of very rough uh, material that actually looks like the fossils. Um, the rough material is cast from the original fossil material. These are the original casts. Um, the reconstruction, uh, which was originally done, I think, 1980s, um, is made up of this beautiful smooth surface in which they've inserted the cast uh, fossil material. Um, now, on ours, there's actually two additional parts uh, that were not included in the original reproduction. Um, in fact, you'll probably not find them anywhere else. Uh, those we found uh, down in the physical anthropology uh, collection. Uh, we found the casts, uh, we brought the material together into the reconstruction, and uh, there we have it. Uh, currently, this one is almost complete. Uh, at this point, everything is set up uh, for the reconstruction. The pose is accurate. Um, this just has to be disassembled now, uh, be sent off to be painted. Uh, which by sent off, it just goes down the hall. Uh, it'll be painted and it'll come back to my office here and it will be reconstructed uh, in its permanent mounted position. When, uh, when visitors come to the museum, they will actually get to see two wonderful things. They'll see our reproduction. Uh, they'll also see a fleshed out reproduction by uh, famed artist John Gershie. Um, what's really cool about ours is it is uh, based on the latest uh, knowledge uh, that we have from the fossil evidence. Uh, this is the, the most scientifically accurate Lucy that we know of. My name is Nicole DeBrenick. I am the casting technician for physical anthropology and you are standing in my casting lab. I make all the casts that will be used for the representation, for the reconstruction. So I, I have all the original molds and I made some new ones specifically for making the process better and therefore once I do all the casts and I clean up the flash lines it goes down to Carl for mounting. We did the rib cage in a sectional mold because two halves was going to be much easier to mold than as one solid piece so therefore uh, we were able to have it self-ventilating and just come to together better and just seam it because it's it's such a large piece, it would be way too complicated as one. I guess the benefit, since Lucy originally came here to be molded, that we're going to have a very nice representation that is currently the most accurate that we have. So it, it's going to be very nice to have her up on display and just pretty awesome that I'm a part of it, I guess.